Yo, what's up, guys? How are you guys doing? I'm back with another video, and so today I am me and my friend Kobe. So, um, you can't really see him, but uh, we are reacting, as you can see up here, eleven-year-old girl allergic to the sunlight. I didn't even know you could be allergic to the sunlight. That's crazy, and and it's just like like just imagine like not being able to go outside or anything. But, like, it's crazy, bro. That's, uh... Okay, let's watch it. It's Bad every thing. parent's oh, worst nightmare. Okay. okay, oh, okay. A happy child who normally looks like this. I guess I'm not a happy child because... I guess I'm not a happy child because I can't do that, but, yeah. Reduced to this. Dang. The day she would just cry for hours and hours on him, and it just felt like lava was being poured on me. Like it burned. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. From the inside out. A medical mystery. You feel so hopeless. There's nothing you can do. Savannah. Oh, why didn't she put it in the cold water? Like, but what I don't get is when it shows these pictures. It looks like she's perfectly fine right here. Oh, the sunlight. was four years old, living in sunny California, when her mom, Andrea, oh, first right noticed there. something strange. We'd be outside, and she'd start screaming, we'd be at the pool, and she... <laughs> I just realized I paused it at the worst frame ever. Well... When you try you don't Oh my god, I'll me. just try to... scream. Oh my god, I paused it as an even worse frame. Okay. Any anyway, just forget what's on your screen right now. But that's crazy, because imagine you're going to the beach, right? You're swimming. You come out of the water, like build sandcastle or whatever. And then you just start burning. Like, that's such a mystery. That's actually scary. She's burning, and she wants to go in. And I'd be like, we just got here. What is the problem? And she's like, I hurt, I burn, I burn, I want to go in, I can't take it. And I would, like, really itch a lot, and it, like, would turn my hands and my feet oh. really red. And, like, if I scratched too much, uh, it would, like... Oh, dang it, you. So, I'm um, on pause now. What I'm seeing is, so the sunlight would just dry up her skin to the point where it's so much. If she itched it even a tiny bit, it would just blister and then scar blister kind of and then scar andrea would put savannah's hands yeah. in bags of ice or a cold bathtub <laughs> nothing would help i'd have taken her to the doctor she just been crying and going well, here what's wrong with her what's wrong with her and they just tell me she has eczema and i'm telling them that is not to be eczema. more than eczema you don't cry like that from that eczema. Not eczema for five years the fulkersons had no answers until they met Dr. Manelli Liu at Children's Hospital, Los Angeles. In Savannah's case, we can see that she has developed these... Hold on, um, hold on. I see how her hands are all red. But my real question is... I know this is sad. I'm not trying to make a joke out of it or anything. I'm just saying. What is she exactly doing to her hands? I do not know. Oh, red yeah, welts yeah. on her hands, um, as well as her fingers. Oh, I and this, to blow. along with her young age, oh. made Dr. Liu suspect Savannah had erythropoietic porphyria. How does she even go to school? How? Okay, spelling bee. Can you spell erythropoietic porphyria? R E Y T H R I. Haha, <clears throat> <laughs> you're wrong. You're so dumb. Don't even know how to spell. EPP, a rare and sometimes deadly disease. It was even featured on the television show House. Look at her arm. Uh, what the? But could this be what was affecting little Savannah? Now, the challenge is both how rare the condition is, um, as well as the subtlety. Sometimes there may be some red patches, maybe some areas that look sunburned, and that can lead to a long lag in diagnosis. After years of no answers, a simple blood test finally gave them one. What did the doctors finally tell you? That um, she had, you know, say it, erythropoietic porphyria. Hold on. It would Why is she laughing? Is this a joke? Why is she laughing? I know, she's actually serious. <laughs> My doctor. <laughs> 
It's like saying, oh, my doctor found out. I got oh you. Oh, my God. <laughs> my finger is dislocated. <laughs> but seriously, why are you laughing? Sentence. Confined to a world in the shadows. How do you explain this to your friends? I just usually say that I'm allergic to the sun. I can't be out. Like, I can never go to the beach. I can never go to a, a sunlit pool. That sucks. Because you go to school. I love... Um, I really love how to, like, I love swimming, and I love beaching, whatever that means, and I love boogie boarding, and all that stuff, so, yeah, but how does she go to like, school? I like? have, I'm literally, I have to be in the dark. Yeah, how does she go to school? That's my home. <laughs> Savannah, now 11 years old, has to wait until evening to swim in her pool. My friend's definition of a normal day, and my definition of a normal day are way different. <laughs> but why is bright, you? sunny, and beautiful. Mine's dark, cloudy, and rainy. <laughs> Wait, why is she laughing? Because she has this, like, bad condition that's, like, super rare. For She's it. like, oh, my son's day is bright, beautiful, love, beach, pool. It's amazing, the sunlight. And then mine is dark, and it's rainy, and it's cloudy, and it's depression. Like, you should take this seriously. That's what she said. And when she does venture out into daylight, it's an effort putting on this UV oh, protective so that's how clothing. She to People have made fun of you because of this. Yeah, because... Who makes fun of somebody because they have this condition? With like, protection. Yeah, who makes fun of somebody? That, like, what's the point? Like, what is that? How does that benefit you? Like... She has, like, one of the worst conditions on earth. Like, why are you gonna do this? Because of, like, my scarred oh, hands and hopefully, like, old lady hands or umbrella head. Oh, my God. I didn't hear what the first part, but I heard Old lady hands. hands. Uh, oh, old lady bro. hands. <laughs> They'll pay, bro. They'll pay. Trust me. They might get it's gonna karma. Come, it's gonna come all back. Yeah, karma. Probably, like, they might get, like... Because of my uh, big hat that goes around, so I don't get burned. They don't understand. They don't. But Savannah oh, doesn't okay. let that get her down. But look at your, you have such a good attitude about it. You have such How a good bike too. <laughs> Yo, can you let I me I just try to think positive. Because I know kids. No, that was else a joke. Way that worse than me. <laughs> okay. The family has made a judgment there, but I don't know. With boundless energy. Like, you have a trampoline in your living room. <laughs> Who has that? No one. Not many people. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people. Savannah's not the only kid living life in the shade. When the sun goes down, a oh, fun that summer people? day is just beginning for these one-of-a-kind kids. It's a UFO. Campers <laughs> in New York City. Wait a minute. What? That condition looks way worse than hers. So maybe she doesn't have the worst? But I wonder how much it burns for him. And also, uh, what's it called? I didn't know there was that much people that could build up a whole baseball team that are actually allergic to the sun. It's fantastic. We're enjoying this. We're having fun. And that's it counts. These kids suffer from another rare genetic skin disorder called ecstasy. Any exposure to sunlight can cause third-degree burns and can lead to cancer. I don't even feel left out. When, I'm outside of camp, I just left out. when their daughter Katie was diagnosed with XP, Dan and Karen Mayar founded Camp Sundown in upstate New York, where day is hold night on, on. and uh, night uh, is day. Uh, normal, I need a minute. Night is day. Normal kids stuff. Right? Uh, just turn the night down. Uh, when their daughter Katie was diagnosed with XP, Dan and Karen Mayar founded I Camp Sundown in upstate New York. <laughs> Look at it. Look at the top of his head. <laughs> no, but I'm not. I'm not mean to make fun of him. I just I chose to make fun of him because he's not allergic to the sun for sure. Like look at him. Oh, it's even his even his smile. Perfect. It's so creepy. Yeah, it's perfect, bro. Like oh wait, what happened to his eyes there? Okay. Oh, that looks creepy. Don't want to give you guys my nerves. So stop. But why I was making fun of him. I wasn't, I wasn't making fun of him, it was funny, that frame, but it's because he obviously was not a living son, I know for a fact.
his day. Normal kid stuff. We we'll just turn the night around and do it at a different time of day. You need a mustache too. Oh, okay. conditions aren't new. Some scientific so historians true. speculate Vlad the Third of Transylvania oh, I guess he had, had a EPP. He's believed to be the historical basis for Dracula, giving rise to vampire and werewolf legends that continue to this day in popular TV shows like yes. Vampire Diaries. Okay, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, if if you did, don't forget. To, I'm not even kidding. I'm not putting that on my channel. Sorry that you guys had to see that. If you guys enjoyed this video, which you probably didn't now, um, just don't forget to smash a like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 60 subscribers. Yep. And I'll give you guys 50 billion. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, just hit 60 subscribers, and I will do a 60 sub special. Pies. No, oh, okay, I'm dumb. Oh my god. I didn't even get it ready to where I could even. You probably just cut that part out. Pies. Oh, it's been 10 minutes. Pies, I'm dumb. <laughs> that video was only 6 minutes and it's been.